Hi everyone, Lance from Palmas North Boys High School again. We're lucky enough today to have the Rector David Bovey with us and we're just going to ask him a few questions about uh, his views on an international education but also to give us a little bit of information about, about Palmas North Boys High School. So good morning Rector, how are you? Good morning Mr Redemeyer, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Now can you just give us a little bit about Palmas North Boys High School and, and what you know our, our student numbers what we are yeah of course so the uh, palmerston north boys high school was founded in 1902 uh, and initially it was boys and girls together so it was a it was a high school for uh, both genders and then about in 1920 uh, the girls left and set up palmerston north girls high school so we're a, we're a traditional boys school in that regard so as far as New Zealand schools go, we're probably reasonably uh, old and uh, we've got a lot of traditions that we still think are really, really valuable uh, to us and what we do here today. How many, how many students at school? So we've uh, about 1,700. Okay, cool. And that's, that, that, that's quite a large number for a, for a smallish city like Palmerston North. It is, yes. So it's the biggest school in the city. In fact, it's, it's the biggest school in the sort of lower North Island outside of Wellington. Okay, that's excellent. Now, we, we talk about something that's not very common overseas, but, but why, why a boys' school? Well, there's a few reasons for, for why I believe uh, boys' schools are great for young men. Boys and girls learn differently. And I think when you're at a boys' school, you can actually tailor your teaching um, specifically for young men. And I think it's really important um, that, they are, that they have the opportunity to be able to learn in that way. Uh, we're also, you know, we, we talk a lot about character, how important character education is here at Boys High School and throughout boys schools in the country. We're part of a, a project that seeks to develop good men. We want our boys to go into society uh, as, as good young men. Um, we also think at boys schools that for many young men, it gives them more opportunities uh, to develop their skills and not only in the classroom, uh, but also in cultural and sporting activities. We, we, we understand that sometimes at a co-ed school, boys are uh, less likely to get involved in things for a number of reasons, but at a boys school, when they're all in there together with their mates, they find it easier to get involved in things. And you know, you'll hear our young men talking about the brotherhood of boys who go to our school. And that's something that I think boys schools do, that they develop that sense of brotherhood and, and a sense of belonging uh, to a school and, and helps develop lifelong friendships. Right, and so you talk about the the, the extras, the cultural and the co-curricular program. So, what sort of approximate percentages of our students would would not only would be entering our co-curricular and, and cultural programs? Oh, look, it would be around ninety percent. We've got a huge number of young men who are involved in either a cultural activity or a sporting activity, or both, or a number of them. You know, we have young men at school who might be playing two or three different sports during the week, um, but also are involved. And, you know, it might be the kapahaka group. Uh, it could be debating, could be music, could be singing. So we really encourage all of our boys, regardless of their ability, to get involved in things because it actually makes them feel more part of the school and, and it's fun. You so know, you we see, want the boys to enjoy themselves. Yeah, of course. So you're sort of saying that no matter whether you're the, the best in New Zealand or whether you're just beginning, that we'll find a, a team that you can participate in. That's right. There is a team for absolutely everybody. Good, good, good. Okay, now you're you're from Hawke's Bay originally, but um, Palmerston North. Now, what your your children obviously go to school here as well. What, what's what's some of the things that that you think are, are great about Palmerston North? Well, look, I think Palmerston North is a great place to bring up um, children, and one of the good things about Palmerston North is that there are good schools throughout the area. Uh, there are, it's, it's a big enough city to be able to provide, well, in New Zealand terms anyway, to be able to provide opportunities for, for our boys to get involved in lots of things. But if it's also really handy in terms of being close to Wellington, being close to Hawke's Bay. There's a very vibrant economy here in Palmerston North. Uh, it's, it's a city, but it's also very close and has to, to the rural community and has a lot of roots in the rural community. That's an important part. Of Palmerston North, and there are also tertiary education institutions that are really important for young men who can go through school here, whether they're international students or, or boys from Palmerston North, who then have the opportunity to study at university or at other tertiary facilities after leaving school. 
And so as well, we're talking about that is that we have a number of boys that will either enter university programs or vocational programs while they're still at school. Yeah, that's right. So in the last two years of school, we have young men who are involved in vocational programs and that will involve uh, building, um, electricians, a lot of the trades, things that have become quite important. And in fact, our young men in the final two years of school last year finished building a classroom for the school and did a fantastic job. In the final year of school, our top academic boys will sit a number of university papers. And we have a young man this year who topped uh, the entire cohort at his university in terms of the paper that he was doing. So we've got some really able young men and those opportunities are there for them as well. And it's a really great link for us as a school to have with three or four universities throughout the country. Rurikta, uh, you've been a great supporter of international education. You've been part of the strategy that we developed to try and grow our program. And, and also you've been overseas with me a number of times. Now, what, what do you see the, the value of international students at Palmerston North Boys High School? Well, look, I think the international program at any school is a really important part of the school. Because I think in, in a number of ways, you know, the world has got much smaller. And I think it's great, it, it's beneficial for both parties. I think it's a great opportunity for boys to come from overseas and to experience the, the opportunities that are here in New Zealand, but to also experience a different education system. Uh, it helps them with their English, of course. And, and the international boys we've had come to Palmerston North Boys High have been really good contributors all around. There have been some fantastic musicians, boys who've been involved uh, in cultural opportunities and sport some really good academic boys as well. But it also benefits our boys. You know, we're, it's, it's really good for, for people in a small country to have those global connections uh, and they learn a bit about a, a young man's background and his country, where he comes from and his culture. And it's an opportunity for them to learn a little bit more about those things while they're still here. And it might encourage them to go overseas and to look at some of these places. And we've had a number of international tours that have gone all over the world for, for, a, for a raft of reasons, from sports exchanges, academic tours, and cultural tours. Our Kapahaka group went, uh, went to Thailand. But it's also given us the opportunity to, to expand our global reach in terms of teacher scholarships who've traveled overseas and spent time at schools overseas. And I think it's, it's a really important connection to the world for us. Excellent. And, um, you know, I know that the schools that we have partnerships with overseas have appreciated having some feedback from us and also us accepting some teachers from overseas to come in and join our classrooms as well. Yeah. And it's a great opportunity to, to have an outside set of eyes on things. You know, it's, it's fantastic to see how other schools do things, regardless of where they are in the world. And I know you and I have visited some fantastic schools in our travels, and you do take some ideas back from those schools because you think, you know, actually, that's a great idea. Let's see how that would work for us. And it's been a great opportunity yeah. to talk to headmasters of those schools because even though we're in different countries and different cultures, there are some things that are very similar in, in what we're doing. Now, can you can you talk us through a few of the facilities that we have at Palmerston North Boys High School? Sure. Um, our campus is, is quite a big one, as you can imagine, with 1,700 young men. Uh, and we've got a number of sporting facilities to go along with our classrooms. We've got some, some uh, recently completed science labs. We've got a new art block, the technology facility where we teach mechanical engineering and joinery and construction and woodwork is a fantastic facility. We have a, a performing arts centre that is used by a lot of outfits across town because it's a fantastic facility. Uh, we have an indoor heated swimming pool, so that means we can use it all year round because in Palmerston North in winter, you wouldn't normally get to go anywhere near a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. So we've got these facilities that the boys are able to make use of every day. Uh, and um, look, we're really lucky and, we're, and, and have to thank the, you know, the previous administrations for getting these things built because it means that the boys get to make the most of those opportunities. What about projects for the future, Rector? Are there any projects that, that the school is looking at for the future in terms of uh, facilities? There are. Look, we'd really like to develop food technology and hospitality as a subject. So that's one of the things we're looking at developing. We're also looking at um, building a hockey turf and pavilion, uh, a new gym eventually. And we'd also really like to build uh, an international student centre where we've got room for students and parents to meet with you and your team uh, and, and to have a, a dedicated space um, with, with 
with better facilities than what we have now. Yeah, excellent. Um, now, the teaching staff, at, at, how many staff do we have and, and why are they such a valuable uh, asset for the school? So we have 112 teachers on our staff uh, and we also have another 57 support staff that, that their jobs enable our teachers to be able to do their to do their work in the classroom and outside of the classroom. And look, we've got a really, really good teaching staff. People who understand the school, uh, the ethos of the school and what it means in terms of what they do inside and outside of the classroom. And we have some long serving staff who are at the top of their game in terms of their subject nationwide. And we have some young staff as well. And we do tend to have staff who stay here for a while because they enjoy teaching here. And now, just, just finally, before we wrap up, and, and we do thank you for your time, your advice to international students that might be considering either coming to New Zealand, Palmerston North, or Palmerston North Boys High School. Do you have any? I do, yeah. Look, New Zealand is a great place to come to for a start. But look, I, I'd, I'd encourage anybody who's thinking about the experience of having some time at a school overseas to, to really look into it. And I encourage you to give it a go. And look, we'd love to welcome young men to Palmerston North Boys High School. And if you do come to Palmerston North Boys High School, the best advice I could give is get involved. There are so many things that you can do here uh, that you might not have the chance to do back home. And the, the young men we've had come to us from overseas have done just that. They've got involved. They've done things they might not ever have done, like the young men who, who go on the Year 13 mountain trip and get to climb Mount Ruapihu. Mm, yeah. You know, fantastic opportunity. So young men who want to get involved and, and, and get to know people and get to know a little bit about the place. Well, well Rector, thank you so much for your time. And we, we truly appreciate it. And we know that you are extremely busy. Um, to, to you watching, thanks again for watching. And we'll have uh, some more blogs coming up, probably some subject content, maybe a little bit about that co-curricular program. And I know that we do have the Mayor, we're talking to the Mayor next week as well. So thanks again for your time. Thank you, Rector. And we will see you uh, all again shortly. Bye. Okay. Thank you.